Hi there! In this video, we continue with the four part in the AI reading list series that briefly introduces the study items which Ilya Satskever offered to John Carmack back in 2020. So make sure that you have watched the previous three parts before continuing with this video. And if you already did that, let's get started. The first item in this video is the following paper, a simple neural network module for relational reasoning, which introduces the relational network, a simple module that performs really well on relational reasoning tasks. And if you wonder what is a relational reasoning task, take a look at the following example. So the first question, what is the size of the brown sphere, is not a relational reasoning task because it refers to the properties of a single object in isolation. While the second question, are there any rubber things that have the same size as the yellow metallic cylinder, is a relational reasoning task because it asks about the properties of an object in relationship with the other ones. And this is the architecture for relational networks. And in it we have baked the capacity to compute relations without needing to be learned. Just as, for instance, Spatial translation invariant properties are built in to CNNs. So yeah, definitely read this paper if you find the topic interesting. The next paper in the list is the variational Lucy autoencoder, which combines the simple variational autoencoder with autoregressive models like recurrent neural networks or pixel RRN. Why? Because by doing this, the model is forced to discard irrelevant information like texture in 2D images from its latent representation of data. And hence, the variational autoencoder only autoencodes data in a loosey fashion. However, before diving into this paper, be aware that it's quite mathematically dense and you have to really understand how variational autoencoders work in order to easily read it. The next one is yet another paper called Relational Recurrent Neural Networks and it argues that recurrent neural networks model temporal data by leveraging an ability to remember information for long periods and that it is unclear whether they also have an ability to perform complex relational reasoning with the information they remember. Therefore, they propose the Relational Memory Core module we simply push the multi-head dot product attention mechanism on the memories of the recurrent neural network and thus improving its performance on relational reasoning tasks. So yeah, definitely give this paper a go if the topic is of interest to you. The next item in the reading list is just the paper version of Complexodynamics, a topic that we have covered in the previous part of the series, which basically states that in contrast to entropy, which increases monotonically, the complexity of closed systems seems to increase at first and then decrease as equilibrium is approached. And the authors study this phenomenon by simulating the mixing of two liquids using a cellular automaton. So definitely read this paper if you want to dive deeper into this topic. And finally, the last item in today's video is the neural Turing machines, which extends the capabilities of neural networks by coupling them to external memory resources which they can interact with using an attention mechanism. Thus, the resulting system is analogous to a Turing machine, but because it's basically a neural network and is differential end-to-end, -end, the authors call it the neural Turing machine. I remember I read this paper a while ago, and I believe that this is one of those classical papers that's usually overlooked by most people because this architecture is not so hype nowadays. And, for instance, people prefer to use some kind of rag if they want to add external memory to a large language model. And that's basically it for the fourth part in the series. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the new parts in this series that I am going to release. See you in the next one. Bye bye.